this week on Way of the Master. When I was growing up, we didn't go to church, but I don't remember my family ever having conversations about God. And if you had asked me, I would have said I would be in the category of an atheist at 16 years old, 17 years old. I think I caught my atheism, it was by contagion. Hmm. It was my science teacher. Right. It was the history teacher. It were people who would say that, well, that's just a fairy tale. Hmm. You know, I thought that Jesus was part of a different trinity as an atheist, um, the tooth fairy, the Easter bunny, and God. Right. And uh, it wasn't until someone took me to church and I heard the gospel preached and I started ask, asking questions to someone who actually had answers that it really got me thinking and changed my whole perspective. Wow. And why did you go to church, Kurt? Why did I go to church? Hmm. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, it was because uh, it wasn't because I was interested in God. I was interested in the girl who invited me to church, mm. and I figured that if she and her family went to church on Sunday, I better go too, or her yeah. daddy had never never let me talk to her again. Mm -hmm. Right. Isn't it amazing? There's always, a, there's always a pretty girl in the story <laughs> somewhere pretty girl. with, with, with say, every guy's yeah. conversion, isn't there? A damsel in distress. <laughs> it's right. always there. The beauty's always there. Mm. And yet the Lord used it in your life. What, what was the reaction of like, the people that knew you? I mean, was there a drastic change? Because here you were. I mean, basically, you were at the height of your uh, success and fame. Growing Pains was a huge hit, especially back then before cable TV was massive like it is today. How did people react? I mean, obviously there must have been a dynamic on the set. How did the actors respond to you becoming a Christian? They all in unison said, tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> what must I do to be saved? Right. That's right. <laughs> now, <laughs> it didn't quite go down like that. I, I think that when I started demonstrating some different behavior, like I wasn't cussing and swearing, I wasn't joining in on some of the, the raunchy jokes that I normally would have been leading or, or piling in on, I think they thought, well, well, what's going on? And has he got a standard that he's now uh, sort of perched upon looking down on the rest of us? I I'm guessing, but that I think is what motivated some of the reactions, which was, uh, you know, you'd see the E! e Hollywood, true Hollywood stories or E! Entertainment, yeah. and it would be like, Kirk Cameron, born again, right. causing trouble on the set, flexing c celebrity muscle, firing <laughs> actresses. None of that happened, <laughs> but I think it, it makes for good ratings, and I think there was genuine concern on the part of, of the cast and the producers. What has he gotten into? Here's a 17-year-old kid who is in a very influential position. All of our jobs revolve around a couple of key characters on the show, Kirk being one of them, and is he getting into something that is really gonna take him to, to, to Looney Town? Right. And if it is, we need to stop that because A, we care about Kirk, and B, we care about the show and its longevity. So I think there was healthy concern, aside from the spiritual battle that I'm sure was going on. Right. Um, but I was trying to take the moral high road. I wanted to please God genuinely, and I think sometimes that got misunderstood, and sometimes I just didn't handle it gracefully. Right. Sure. So you know, 17 year old, it's, you're, you're a young buck in there with the, with the pistols of, of the Ten Commandments, and you know, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, you can, you can upset some people. So would you handle things differently now if you went back as a mature adult and had that experience again? Are you referring to my, my, my salt <laughs> and pepper hair? <laughs> he was trying to find a tactical How are you way they? to say it. <laughs> I, of course, I think I would have. Of course I would, but at 17 years old, uh, you're a young pup, yeah. you're unfinished. I had just gotten saved and, and that was God sanctifying me mm. through a process of, of sending down some roots deep into the, my theological soil right. so that I could weather some of the storms that would come later. I see that now, I couldn't see yeah. it then. Yeah. TV and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.